Hey guys, this is Sean at Mahalo.com. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to add transitions to your film inside of Windows Live Movie Maker. So now in our video, we have an awesome title, music, photos and video. Now what we don't have is any type of transition from one photo to the other. It just simply pops up with a new photo. To add transitions to the photos, simply click on the photo you'd like to add a transition to. Then here at the top, under animations, you can decide the style of transition you'd like to add. And if you just hover your mouse over it, it'll give you a preview of the transition. So I like this transition, so I click on it, and there you go, it's been added to the timeline. So let's say for the next photo, I'd like to add a different transition. Also, I can click on the double arrow. I can decide which transition I'd like to use out of all the transitions. And if you just hold it over it, you can preview. There we go, I like that one. Now you can see this slide, as well as the previous slide, both have transitions. And I can also decide the duration of the transition from up here. So if I'd like a really long transition, like this one, or if I'd like it to be really fast, like here, where you almost didn't even notice it. As well as that, on these photos, I can also do a slow pan. Whether it be a pan to the right, a pan up, or a pan down. You can also do a lot of different types of pans. Like for instance, zoom out, zoom in to the middle right, a turn, Let's say for this photo, I'd just like to do a zoom in. So there you go. I have a transition from my first photo. On this photo here, I do have a slow zoom in. But let's add a transition as well. How about this guy? And let's check it out. There you go. One other thing too, Let's say I really like that style of transition. I can add it to every photo and video just by clicking on Apply to All. Now if I wanted a good divide between my beach scene and my city scene, I can simply add a page roll transition to show the division. And this is what it'd look like. That's a simple and easy way to add transitions to your photos and videos inside Windows Live Movie Maker. Now to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe, feel free to rate and comment below. Also check the link at the end of this video for the next lesson in this course. And thanks for watching.